What's up, people? It's New York Phone Jacks. Alright, so... I didn't have enough money to go vinyl shopping today. Uh, plus, there's no record shops near where I live at. I had to travel into Manhattan to uh, go record store hunting. To go uh, vinyl hunting. Um, plus, I think that I have everything that I can afford from Pearl Jam right now. So, what I did was... I gotta do major cleaning. I wanted to get out of the house for a little bit before I get started. Um, I went to Best Buy and I picked up a bunch of CDs. Most of these were in the $5 bin. Um, so I'm just gonna share with you guys what I got. Let me start with the one that was open. All right. The first one I'm gonna start with is this one here. This is Corn Issues. This was the only copy that was in the store. The plastic was missing, so somebody had opened it. There's a small scratch on the front cover. The back cover is cracked, but the plastic is still on here on the, on the side. This CD came out I think uh, 96 or 97. When this CD came out, there's a lot of memories to this. I, I was driving to work, as I always did. I had a uh, 1978 Chevy Nova at the time, painted gray and black with uh, racing stripes down the middle. I was traveling to work like I always did, about 80, 90 miles an hour, listening to this CD when Somebody decided to come into my lane going about 40. So, slam the brake, slide up the side of the road, hit the fence, take my license plate off. No big deal. No damage whatsoever to the car, no damage to me. The grass was all fucked up, and I had to go back at lunchtime to pick my license plate up before they came and found me. <laughs> at, uh... That was the memories with this CD. That's why this was the only one that was they had, and it was open, and I had to pick it up. Five bucks. Can't go wrong. I also picked out Take a Look in the Mirror by Korn. Um, I never had this CD before. I never owned it. But it's got uh, Y'all Want a Single on it. So, say fuck that. I got... That one was seven dollars. Picked up Follow the Leader. Seven dollars. Just looking now and I notice there's a crack on the case. Um, no big deal. Let's keep it moving. I picked up Korn's debut album. Another crack on the case. Five dollars. Corn Life is Peachy I picked up for five dollars as well. So one, two, three, I picked up five corn albums. Not huge corn fan, I like them, I listen to them. You know, I haven't heard, I haven't listened to them in 10, 15 years maybe, but you know, I've been to a few of their concerts. Um, when I sent the guy to try to find if they had another copy of the issue C D, he said, um, he checked the computer, they didn't have any. And he said, no offense, but nobody listens to Korn anymore. That's old Korn. Never heard the phrase old Korn before, but okay. Uh, whatever. Um, this one is pretty freaking awesome. License to Ill from the Beastie Boys. Five bucks. I remember back in 85, 86, whenever this came out. I was a little youngster in the Boy Scouts. This was a... Freaking awesome album back then. Um, yeah. and now we come to the album that I didn't like when it was released. Um, I actually sold my copy. I only had it for a week. And I sold it when it was new. You know, like Nirvana Incesticide. It's only, uh, I'm going to have to play it over again. I haven't heard it since 90. When is it? 92? It says 92 on here. 
I haven't heard it since then. Um, at the time, I didn't like it. I like their other albums. I probably got this after 92. I probably got this in 94, around that time. Uh, you know, with the Near the Row and Nevermind and all of that. This one I didn't like. I sold it. All the other ones I loved. I overplayed in Utero like crazy back then. Bleach is my favorite album. I do have the 20th anniversary edition of Bleach and Nevermind on CD as well. Um, another one, we was going through the uh, closeout bins, the $5 bins. Um, Silverchair, Frogstump. This one's got a uh, bunch of songs. Pure Massacre is on here. One of the reasons why I picked it up. Never, I don't believe that I've ever owned this Silver Chair album. I think I did own a different Silver Chair album way back in the 90s. Um, this one doesn't fit in with the others, but awesome album, $5. Eric B. and Rakim paid in full. What was I think it's 86 or something. This one says uh, 2005. Obviously, that's not the initial year of release but I believe that this was originally released in 86 or something around there paid in full it's got um I ain't no joke awesome song move the crowd uh, yeah. very awesome album Eric B. and Rakim classic next one is the most expensive album that I bought today ten dollars but well worth it is definitely a classic album stone temple pilots core uh, this is probably one of their best albums uh, we got wicked garden sex type thing plush cracker man dead and bloated very awesome very classic album got two left In the seven dollar bin, Jar of Flies by Alice in Chains. No excuses. I stay away. You know, very awesome album. Uh, seven dollar bin. And the final album from the seven dollar bin is Alice in Chains Facelift. Got the man in the box. You know, like. All kinds of good songs, you know. 1990, awesome. At the cutting edge, <clears throat> before grunge blew up, this was one of the albums that started everything. Alice in Chains, Soundgarden, from Soundgarden to Pearl Jam to Nirvana, this was one of the first coming out of Seattle that started everything. Facelift from Alice in Chains in the seven dollar bin. Um, that's all that I got today. I'm gonna make another video, show off my Pearl Jam collection, and uh, that's about it for now. Take care.